Here's our pre-drilled heatsink, and we're using the BJB solderless connectors. Basically, it's a two terminals that accepts 18 to 22 gauge wire, and the uh, connector fits nicely on top of the LED and connects the two points. Uh, no solder is required, and LED can be changed out at any time. When we place the LEDs to the heat sink, we use a thermal paste to improve the efficiency of the heat transfer. Simply just put a little bit on the back end of the LED and put the LED on the heat sink. These are arranged for moonlight and we have the positive pointing to the negative of the LED and this will aid in wiring. Each BGB holder is labeled a negative and a positive. Now we'll put that on the LED accordingly. We'll then get ready to screw it in. We're using a number four self-tapping screw. This works perfect with the 332nd hole we've drilled. Let's put a little bit of oil on it, not too much. And we screw it down with our screwdriver. Now we make sure it's not tight, but not too tight. Now that we have our BJB connectors secured to the heatsink, we'll connect them using a solid single strand wire. It's very simple. You just slide it in to the holder. This is 18 gauge. It's a little bit tighter than a 20 or 22 gauge. But they slide in quite easily. And we do that for the rest of our LEDs. And we'll be good to go. Okay, we're now going to add optics to our fixture. We're using the uh, Carclo. It's the soft frosted wide. It's one of the better quality optics available for the uh, Cree LED. And it fits nicely into this optics holder by BJB. So we just snap the optic in. And we snap it on. And that's how we'll do our optics. We'll uh, complete the whole fixture and test it shortly.